I wouldn't go so far as to call this uh, a horror novel, um, but there are some very creepy moments. And the Malamander, of course, is, is, is quite a creepy fellow. Um, so what uh, what tips do you have for writing about monsters and ghosts and scary things for younger readers without ever crossing that line of becoming being so scary that that, that uh, the editor says, no, we're not we're not we're not giving this to children? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, so I think I might have stepped over the line a little bit with the early draft. And uh, there was a little bit there was more blood in the book. <laughs> and I was asked to tone that down um, and was happy to. But um Disagree uh, again. More blood, more Pokemon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this was in the UK. The UK editor asked me to reduce, to reduce the amount of gore. There wasn't a huge amount, but it just, um, I, um, yeah, it's a hard one to get right. And of course, Manamanda is, is, um, it is intended to be creepy. And it is a little bit in its tone. It is like a horror, a horror story, but toned down for a readership. But there are some children who've been quite, um, I think frightened in a good way. I mean, I've had people say, oh, I was scared, but I had to keep reading. And I, in the end, I really loved it because I, I just had to make sure that it wasn't ever too dark and never stepped over that line. And I think in the end, it, it when you get to the end, you you realise it's, um, well, I won't spoil anything, but uh, um, it is difficult. But I use a lot of humour as well. I tried to bring a lot of humour into the book. So um, Her Herbie, whatever else is happening, Herbie tends to bring a note of, of fun, which I think lightens the... The, uh, the tone and adds a kind of contrast that I think is quite useful. So having a contrast might be a good tip for people who who want to bring a little of that horror feel but don't want to go too far. Uh, you can balance it up with some fun and, and maybe uh, solve it that way. Well, it also uh, increases the effectiveness of the horror because you get the uh, the fun and the humor and that kind of calms you and you're like, oh, this is a, I'm in a safe place. This is a safe story. That oh oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely wanted a few un under the under the covers moments, you know, for for the for the reader uh, without it being too much. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I have to say, I I, um, um, I think I've got the right tone there, but I think in the past i haven't always got that quite right but uh, i think it's worked in malamanda i always thought that uh, not just because of the classic example of brawl doll um but that uh, horror and children's fiction are natural bed bedfellows of course i would think that because i write both <laughs> Um, but uh, just because when you're dealing with something, I, I, I like really imaginative stories. Uh, and of course, when you're writing a really imaginative story, a, an imagination that uh, can provide you with wonderful dreams uh, during the day, once it gets uh, past a certain time at night and everybody's asleep and it's dark, that same imagination can sometimes turn on you a little bit. Uh, and so... I don't know where I'm going with that other than I like monsters and I know that you write about ghosts and, and, and monsters and, um, mm -hmm. and vampires and, and all sorts of wonderful things. Um, do you, I don't know, do you ever see yourself writing aside from like a picture book? Do you see yourself writing like a, um, um, just a straightforward narrative, no ghost, no, uh, like a, like a Howard's end, uh, type story. Oh, uh, gosh. With nothing beyond. I, um, you know, I think I'd find that quite hard. <laughs> I think I'd find it quite difficult, but I, possibly. But I'm not drawn to 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 do that. I like to. It's true. I do like to bring the paranormal or supernatural in if I can. Um, um, without trying, it just seems to appear. But uh, um, I could probably write a historical mystery where nothing supernatural happened. But. Um, I wouldn't write a I wouldn't write a comedy of manners set in a cafe in you know a big city and just just deal with everyone's lives. I think I would I would lose interest if I tried to do that. I certainly wouldn't do it for children. Well, writing a historical novel that's where you can get really crazy because yeah. <laughs> previous times, uh, especially when when everybody that uh, covered things up is dead and, and then you're no longer worried about um, uh, political concerns. I'm 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 not going to upset such and such a king. Uh, it's not a problem. Um, but with history, uh, you mankind the, the history of mankind is just nasty. You can find all kinds of great scary stuff uh -huh. without need of a monster. Yeah.